Good evening, wrestling fans, or where you know, it might be morning, it might be afternoon, wherever you're listening or watching us from around the world, and we know you are. Uh, thank you for joining us. For, this is AIWF Ringside Wrestling. Uh, joining me, uh, as usual, Commissioner Rick Diesel, Hall of Famer Brian Danzig, his better half, Pagan. We always call her Reagan. Uh, uh, they are with us. They're having some audio difficulty right now. Um, so we're hoping that they can get that uh, repaired. But Rick Diesel, oh my goodness, we had an event last night in Mount Airy, and uh, it was Jesus. It was it was <laughs> something to see. I wish I'd seen it. <laughs> yeah, I know you were busy. I was so busy, man, running around doing my thing. But Rick Rick Diesel is uh, huge behind the scenes. You guys that come to the live shows know. I mean. Uh, he he's constantly met back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, checking on, uh, helping run the show, run the concession stand, run the t-shirt shop, you know, uh, <laughs> negotiating future deals with the building. I mean, it's just, oh, uh, but it's a lot. So, but, uh, we're going to get to some of it and we got some footage for you tonight, folks. Uh, and we have some excellent news. I, I got two breaking news stories for you. We have been told by our friend, Kevin Phoenix Cochran, the third, that, Seasons Beatings will be available on the Roku channel this Friday. That that will be January the uh, I can't see my calendar from here, but let me see. Uh, that'll be January 27th. Uh if you're listening. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Rick Days is gonna show us something to everybody. So dang right, buddy. I'll describe I'll describe it for our audio people. I'm taking bets on whether to be there or not. All right, that's a lot of money. Rick Diesel <laughs> looks like he's got yeah. about $84, $85 there, maybe over 100 if there's more 20s than I can count, but he's taking bets. So if uh, hey, bets, it won't be there. Who's in? <laughs> if you want to get in on the action, uh, you want to get in on the action, contact me on Facebook. Yeah, hit us up in the comments. Two to one odds. Yeah. It ain't going to be there. Yeah, so if you're watching this on YouTube, the betting window is closed. But uh, if, while we're live on Facebook, yeah, if you want to get in on the action, just uh, reach out to us in the comment section on the Mid Atlantic page. And and uh, uh, wait a minute, are we allowed to do this in North Carolina? I don't know, uh, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Uh, we're I run a well, DNA but, uh, test. I think I got some uh, Native American in me. Oh, okay, all right. So there we go. We're all clear. Yeah, Rick Diesel operating good. Out, as a sovereign nation out of White Plains, North Carolina. So, uh, anyway, but, I'll, I'll, Jim and I from back. You remember he? They used to run that. Uh, they used to run that line back in the dressing room. You know, and Chief Jim and I was back there. He had him a little gambling thing going that time. <laughs> so, no, I don't remember that. I guess you I don't was remember out, that. I was out front from, you know, the shows because I do the announcing, so I didn't get, get any of the uh, locker room casino action. They, had, they opened up the casino back in the locker room. Oh, wow. Yeah. So uh, wrestling and gambling all in the same place. Uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, but, yeah, last night's show was completely wild, uh, Rick Diesel. A lot of things happened. Caden Bier made his return uh, and a couple of, th a couple of other things. Uh, involving former referee Timmy, who is now known as T.W. Rose, and he has become Triple K's uh, personal assistant, as we were told last night. We we're going to show you some video of that. Uh, just a lot, lot going on. So, but look, without any further ado, why don't I go ahead and pull up that video? Uh, Buddy Flowers was in our first match of the evening, and uh, congratulations, he was victorious over Jordan Holt. But before I could get the video running again, uh, and all these full matches are gonna be coming out soon, too. We're yes. gonna, they're gonna be on YouTube and on Facebook, you know, everywhere, so building up to capital punishment, baby, in a month away. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna talk about that tonight. Let me get this video queued up. So, Kevin Phoenix came out and uh, and because I don't want to say his whole name every time, guys, so just bear with me. He came out and demanded that Buddy Flowers be administered a drug test uh, after his match last night. And we're going to go and then turn to address the crowd uh, because of his new administration. And we're going to take a look and a listen at that. And hopefully it's not too loud right now. 
Can you see the screen? Yes. All right, here we go. P.W. Rose looks like my grandma. Maybe that's what he's going for. My assistant, Timmy, will uh, make sure everything's on the road. Who put our business on? Get out. Kevin Phoenix wants to put a flower to take a throat test. <laughs> hey, Timmy. man, you know you play? No. He looked excited. He's supposed to be an athlete, though. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of understand that. Right. I did it one time. You know, the Mattering Army, I had to do the whole drug thing thing for a day. So, you know. And I know everybody's excited for the big match tonight. I know Ben is excited. I know the fighting club's excited. I'm excited. But I have some business I have to handle. Mason. Shut up. The story behind this right here is just wild. I'm going to your job and knock the bob out of your head, okay? I'm going to shut the hell up and you show me some respect. She bobs, she bobs. Chase Harry, you've got, I see you've got this protective, this protective gear here. And I love, shut up. Kevin Phoenix getting frustrated by the crowd here. They're making a lot of noise. I don't want to get on copyright trouble, but we hear music in the background. And uh, as they, as look, the Fighters Club and Kevin Phoenix and Benny Conley kind of fight amongst themselves, they're not paying attention to, you know, the loud music. And here comes Ty Tyson, Rose Tyson, Mickey Fulp, no comparison, Joe Harrison, Justin Flash. And uh, well, they're going to, Add some comments to this situation here shortly. Any thoughts so far, Rick Diesel? Well, what they didn't, and from what I was uh, led to believe, Kane has been instructed. Well, from what I understand, Kevin Phoenix got a phone call from Case and Kane's modeling agency, of all yeah. things. And they said that in his contract, his face is a commodity. Right. And they have to protect his face. And basically, from what I was understanding, talking to Kevin, oh, Kevin, that if he could not protect Case and Kane's face, that they would pull a clause in his model that would keep him from coming back to WF Mid Atlantic to wrestle anymore. So they headgear to yeah. keep him safe from the fans. Of course, they and didn't seem to be too concerned about the wrestlers, but the fans. They said that the 
shadows and jump them from behind and then there's that face and was going to lose him as a wrestler. Wow. So let's hear Ty Tyson's comments and pay close attention, everybody, especially those listening in, those listening on podcast. Uh, things get, uh, well, really interesting and kind of weird as this conversation plays out. So check it out. Everybody here, will you please shut the hell up? Shut second let's just go back and hear that one more time uh because <laughs> yeah and you hear my comment too okay here it is one more time oh wait no we didn't hear it hang on let me back up here for me just kind of kept going from there i'll go ahead and pause it right there and and, and come back uh because you know they basically just challenged each other to fight them but that uh i'm not sure that kevin phoenix understands fully the nature of the term cream pie in the internet age uh i really didn't think he was that sheltered I, did all the stuff he did uh, I don't think he was thinking before he opened his mouth, but I mean, I, yeah, I think you can, uh, the, the expression old T-Dub didn't seem to mind. No, he didn't. And look at the expression on Mickey Fulp's face in the still shot right here real quick. I mean, that kind of says it all. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so anyway, um, the cream pie would come into play later on and we'll look at that as we we move through the uh program here i think we may have lost uh brian dadzik this week rick diesel so it might just be you and i that's why we got a little late start it was having some technical issues i guess is what you the proper name for it. i'm having them too and uh i keep getting a message my internet signal is unstable so if you're hearing any audio glitches or anything like that at home we apologize I pulled, downloaded the new update last night for the computer. I wouldn't think it need another one, but hey, you never know. Um, but anyway, so let's talk about something on the national scene real quick, Rick Diesel. Did you okay. read this week that Vince McMahon finally paid and settled with Rita Chatterton, the referee from 86 that accused him of raping her in the limo? She had asked for 11 and three quarter million dollars, but uh, according to the Wall Street Journal article, she didn't get that, that much. Expensive. Yeah, no kidding. I'm telling you. Um, and, and everybody kind of like all the pundits in the quote unquote wrestling media uh seem to think that this would just go away money. Uh I tend to it agree. was. You think she got that much, or do you think maybe no the Wall Street Journal said she did not get eleven and three quarter million? I bet she got maybe a couple, maybe a couple million, but that's all she needs. Hell, she's a hundred years old. Yeah, yeah, that's just, it's just ugly, man. All this stuff is coming out about Vince McMahon, you know, over the years. I mean, because you heard all those rumors 
for years, but I always just assumed it was because people were jealous of him, you know, or didn't like what, what he was doing to the wrestling business and all that kind of stuff. But man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of smoke here. You know what they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And there certainly is a lot of smoke around him. Yes. Right yeah, definitely a lot of smoke around Vince McMahon. And, but it's not going to go away. But I don't understand what his end game is with WWE now. I mean, he's back on the board. He's, he's, he's back. He's back where he was mm-hmm. as the creative. Yeah, yeah. He's just like so, leaving creative alone. And and I hope he continues to do that because um they've been they're he don't they're, need to be creative to ruin this thing. No. No, I mean if it, if he sells to NBC, uh which everybody seems to think is gonna happen, of course nobody really knows. Um are they going to WCW the product? I mean, you know, and take a perfectly good wrestling promotion and and run it into the ground. Uh, certainly seems possible. Well, they certainly can't make it no more. Say that again. I'm sorry. They certainly cannot make it no any more PG. Yeah. I mean, you know, so I don't know. The only thing, unless they were dumb enough to, you know, do like Turner did and put some not so much running it, but overseeing it mm-hmm. that has zero wrestling knowledge that that could be what would ruin it. Yeah. I, I would hope Vince that... don't care. Vince don't, I don't think, I truly don't believe Vince after he's gone. Mm. I don't think he does. I don't think he wants to be able to sit at five ninety years old in a wheelchair or a recliner in the living room. Monday Night Raw continue without him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he couldn't even for a few months. Yeah. Well, they say he was still going to uh, the gym that he built in the uh, in the building at WWE headquarters. He was still going there and working out every morning, is what they were saying. So, um, well, he he couldn't stay away for a few months. You know, good and well, he's not going to sit there and watch it continue without him. Mm-hmm. I feel like he will sell it. Or it to the Are ground. we blowing y'all out of the water now? No, that's much better. It's much better, but it's still pretty loud. But yeah, much better. Yeah, I well, think we can well, handle that. Yeah. So uh, if we sit back, will it help? It might. If we sit back. Yeah, it might. Um, if uh, so, I think Brian and Reagan are back, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you listening. But go ahead, Rick Diesel. Finish your point about McMahon. Well, I feel like you know, like. A- I think in Vince's mind, he don't want it to continue without him. He he don't want to sit in years and watch it run without him, and even be and especially be successful. Mm-hmm. And it's still in his family. I think all there's two things in his mind. One, he's going to uh, going to burn it to the ground. Selling or burn it to the ground. Don't think it's any chance that he sells it to. Uh, um... <laughs> Triple H, his daughter Stephanie, and uh, Shano. No. Money to buy it. No, I don't think they do either. But I mean, they could. Unless, you know, I mean, he could just sell it to them a lot cheaper than would anybody else. But I don't think he wants to see them succeed so big that he does not want to see it succeed in his family. Mm-hmm. He don't want nobody in his, in, in his inner circle running it without. And and, the, and people been able to go, wow, look how much better it's doing without Vince. See, he had to listen to that for, for several months. You know, yeah. oh, man, and so you know that Vince, aided him too. Vince boy. Gone, Triple H is, you know, he's he's done so much better. There's so much better without Vince. He don't want to hear that. No. He wants it to be a completely somebody else's. He wouldn't care if they renamed it. He mm-hmm. wants, he don't want his fingerprints nowhere on it after he's after he's done with it. Mm-hmm. And he don't want nobody hearing that his kids made it more successful than he did. That, that's just the ego the man's got. Yeah. I, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think he'll either sell it or burn it to the ground. That's well, why I was so, I, I was actually, I had my money on him selling it to the Saudis. Yeah. And he, and he happened. That's not out of the you know, realm of reality yet. No. That it's could like- still happen. Until it's actually sold and they make an announcement, anything can happen. You know, I mean, anything, anything at all. Brian Nancy, Saudi, the Saudis had it, you know, three weeks ago. They thought that was it. Saudis got it. 
Well, that's just because some... But I, I had heard uh, just speculation on Twitter that I thought made sense that people were saying that had no intentions of selling, that he was using the selling of the WWE as an excuse to get to interject himself back into the WWE. Mm-hmm. Bringing myself back in to a sell, but then the sell falls through. Like, oh well, I'm I'm here. I may as well stay. Yeah. So some people are saying that was just a pretext of of him and no intentions of selling. Well, that could uh, that sounds logical too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And again, like I said, that that's not any firmed. That was just a a uh, a um, theory that somebody had that I thought made a lot of sense. Yeah, and that was kind of the point I was making. As long as he's in control, he'll be fine. But if he, he'll either sell it or burn it to the ground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's if his he baby. Can't control I mean. it. Well, I mean, he said he said he would. He said that if they didn't let him back in, he was going to bankrupt the company. So yeah. he, Wow, I didn't he hear that. <laughs> that uh let me back in or i'm going to destroy it wow um so the nwo angle from 2002 is becoming real <laughs> yeah, i'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. kill it i'm yeah, gonna put a poison yeah, yeah people uh, lethal dose of poison <laughs> yeah. his, his new board of directors is the nwo and <laughs> <laughs> he'll be and bring in bish off the book it just to kill it real good yeah <laughs> so, uh, well, you, you bring you bring back Ru- both bring back russo to, mm-hmm. to yeah, the bring- coffin. <laughs> god boy everybody will know what's happening if it, if, if the announcement comes through that eric bischoff and bitch russo has been hired by <laughs> oh yeah well there it goes it's done yeah, yeah bring, no. bring in him and eric watts uh, yeah. No coming off the top rope. <laughs> Have Eric Watts uh, 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 My beat, dad Roman said. At, beat Roman at WrestleMania in like ten seconds, and and <laughs> that, that'll be the end of it, right? <laughs> yeah, and then we'll be talking about all the glory years of the WWE back in uh, uh, back before it died in twenty three. Foley told me backstage at a. WCW show one time back when it was like drawing, you know, 1,200 people in the annex in Winston Salem. Yeah. Standing back there talking, and Eric Watts was in the, I think he was US champion or something then. And uh, he was in the ring wrestling. Me and Mick Foley was standing back there, and I looked at him and I said, So explain that to me. His exact words were, That, my friend, is one of the great mysteries of the universe. (laughs) <laughs> I'm at Eric Watts having a title. <laughs> you told me that years ago. I had forgotten yeah. that. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah, because um, because I remember like not being long into uh wrestling, and uh, I was hearing Eric Watts jokes. Because I mean, this is just three, four years after the fact that he was in WCW. Maybe not even that long. And I was asked people like veterans, "What's the deal with Eric Watts?" And everybody would always give me the same answer. I don't know. Nobody need, nobody knows, you know. And I mean, he, he went on to TNA and worked quite a while in TNA. And and I, w- I was like, because I was doing some research on him recently. And I, hey, that was Eric Watts. No idea at the time, because they did, I don't know if he was in, I don't know what faction he was in, but he worked for TNA quite a long time. I never uh, thought, thought he was that bad, but you just didn't have. He wasn't there. great in WCW. Yeah, he was too. He was too green in W in WCW. He was there too early. Rick yeah. Diesel's yeah. waving his hand at the camera, so he's I either got a see. Or... Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. What a- ever possessed you to research Eric Watts? <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> Why? Okay, so this what is my you... okay. This is my hobby for all the people that I I'm sure are riveted by this information. <laughs> so I watch a lot of old wrestling, and I do a lot of googling watching that to see who's dead, oh, who's okay. still working, and what they're doing now. So, and then I go down rabbit holes of what the yeah. So, 
it to hear the the actual words you know i was researching <laughs> i was researching yeah. where eric was <laughs> yeah it, it's not him in particular anybody we see we're like Oh, I wonder if he's still alive, and if so, what what is he doing now? Like I was looking up, and there were two Kendo Nagasaki's. Yeah, I did not know that. A white Kendo Nagasaki and an Asian Kendo Nagasaki. One more hood, one more face paint. Wow, and which one so, was the Asian one? Uh, the oh, one that was NWA in the in '85, and wore the oh, face paint. And wore the face paint. Oh, really? Yeah. So the one that was a Jim Rocket Promotions. Uh, mm -hmm. like, what did yeah. Gary Hart did brought what, him the first time? Yeah, because the one of them was an English fella. Yeah, mm -hmm. was an mm. English. Well, you know, Nagasaki back from uh, the Crockett days. He he had an awesome gig. Kind of, he tried to do so much. More, it 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 affected his wrestling skills. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to say hey to Christian Janicki in the chat. Michael Gammons. Michael Gammons says if the WWE do sell to Saudi Arabia, then AEW slash Impact will get a ton of female talent. You got that right, brother. I uh, agree with that. And AEW, Lord knows they need some female talent there. I mean, um, and and some more experienced female talent. Not that what they have is bad. I just don't think they have enough. Ex, you know long time experienced women wrestlers there and they could definitely use that so well uh, and they they need somebody uh uh feel the airtime on TV while they're getting their blood transfusions cuz them girls bleed down in AEW man uh, yes they do I appreciate that for from them yeah, especially Dr. Britt Baker and oh, people please stop jumping on her face you know, I mean, she's a great wrestler. Do not end her career early. It seems like anytime anybody misses anything in the women's division, they land on Britt Baker's face in the worst possible way. So, um, anyway, uh, so let's see here. Let me go ahead and run over some stuff, pay some bills here, do the slideshow thing, and then we're going to talk about another match that happened uh, this past Saturday. So, everybody finished with their thoughts on McMahon. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, everybody's finished that. Oh, by the way, uh, Ryan, we uh, we kind of uh, covered the cream pie thing while y'all was getting. Yes, but now and see, seeing uh, uh, seeing the cream pie situation. <laughs> I think my favorite was I didn't notice at the time because I was too busy being shocked myself, but uh, my action. <laughs> he just kind of put his head. <laughs> On his hands. Oh God! What just happened? Like what? What? What is happening? Look! What... I noticed you took two steps to the right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, in the video that I shot, I just without thinking, when Kevin says I'm going to give him the biggest cream pie he's ever had in his entire life, I said that's a nice birthday present. So twenty years from now. There'll be somebody watching that video on YouTube and be like, boy, that guy filming's an idiot. <laughs> 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 no, I did it sarcastically, ironically, kids, but you know, they won't know that one, you know, many years from now. But anyway, all right, folks, as you can see on the screen, and for those of you listening, if you'd like to advertise with this uh program here, Ringside Wrestling, our talk show has been kind of quirky this week, but hey, that's the way we like it. You can get an audio read, like a 30 second to one minute uh, live read. I do them all. Don't record them. I like to read them live, like old school radio announcer days. Uh, and that's only $10 a month. And if we take a week off, we're not going to penalize you for that. Uh, your $10 gets you four weeks on the program consecutively, regardless. If you'd like us to shoot a video commercial, we can do that too. Those are $30 a month, but we'll come out to your location or or whatever, you know, and, and film the commercial for you. This is geared at people who maybe have a side hustle like tax seasons coming up. If you do taxes, if you, uh, you know, uh, have got a lawn care business, uh, food truck, this is the type of thing that we advertise here and you're going to get to see it shortly. Your ad will be featured across all these platforms, Facebook live where we are right now. YouTube is where we archive the program. And we also have it across all major podcast platforms. And we do, we have one episode up on the Roku channel. Uh, but uh, that's where you can your advertising knowledge get stretched a long way with AIWF Ringside Wrestling. 
Uh, all you have to do is reach out to us at AIWF20 at hotmail.com, AIWF20 at hotmail.com, or reach out to myself or Rick Diesel at the live events, or hit us up on social media. We are on Instagram. Uh, you can search AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling and Diesel 24 7. That's where you can find us on Insta. And, uh, and I put up some content on that bad boy. Yeah, there. Yes, you did today. Uh, yeah, if you want to see something really funny, we'll probably get to later in the show. Uh, but if you want to uh, see it now, head on over to <laughs> Diesel 24 7, uh, 247 at, on Instagram. All right. Next big one for us in Mount Airy comes your way Saturday, February 18th. It's Capital Punishment Gang Wars. Um, I really enjoyed it, posting this on Instagram today. They're letting us, uh, if I post a poster, they let me uh, set music to it. And so I chose uh -huh. Metallica's Seek and Destroy. So if you go look at that, you can look at the picture and listen to about 30, 15, 20 seconds of that song. So, uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, that comes your way. We're still in winter hours. So that means doors open at four, bell times at five. Uh, this will be the last one. This will be the last one. With those, we'll with those hours. All right, so we're going to move back to regular time starting in March. We'll have more about the anniversary show coming up. But right now, we want you to think about joining us on February 18th at Veterans Park for Capital Punishment Gang Wars. It ought to be a rocket buster. All right, and speaking of sponsors, Premier Auto Detailing is our car detailing sponsor. They can do they do individual work as well as fleet services. So if you've got a used car lot around the Mount Airy, Surrey County area, don't have to be right in there. I mean, I'm sure they'll travel a little bit. You can negotiate that, but, um, or you just, <coughs> are you just ain't able to get in the nooks and crannies of that car like you, you used to, we're all getting older, right? Well, you can reach out to premier auto detailing and they can help you make that old jalopy look like it just rolled off the showroom floor. All you need to do is call 336-883-5722. That's 336-883-5722 for more information. And for those of you listening, I'll pop that number one more time, 336-883-5722. I guess I really don't. Don't get, know. get them stink bugs out of your heat vents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, these creations, <laughs> custom <laughs> apparel uh, is uh, a, a great service. They custom make T-shirts sweatshirts and uh and hoodies and they do um tumblers as well uh they uh they are actually got the uh capital punishment gang wars shirt available for, for pre -sale. orders are coming in on that bad boy now we're starting to get some orders on that i saw some messages uh we announced it at the show last night they could actually start pre-ordering last night and then they're starting to roll in today so that's that's yes. good news it's a good looking shirt what are the sizes you have available rick diesel uh, small to, uh, oh my God. <laughs> All right. So, so they might be able to get one to fit me. That's right. Kool-Aid size. <laughs> what? The Kool-Aid size. Yes. Yes. Uh, features own gravitational pull size. That type of That's deal. That's right, man. Yes, sir. So, um, but anyway. Wind got... sock. <laughs> Horse blanket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I joke with when, I, when Jinky's folding laundry and she'll have something of mine, you know, and how small she is, and she'll hold it up to fold it. And I'm like, God, you make that thing look like a horse blanket. Yeah, so, you can't you can't hang your clothes up on a line because somebody come by and say, How much more for that sailboat sail right there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. I need to get back on the treadmill. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, my doctor told me I need to lose. 10 to right, 10 to 20 pounds. My doctor told me just to do the best I could. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's kind of sad, man. <laughs> that makes you a little sad. It's a joke, you just give Reagan. it your best shot, buddy. <laughs> just try your damnedest, man. Yes, <laughs> yes it's a joke. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> but these creations, guys, they really do do a great job with the customer apparel. Reagan, for example, asked um, asked about a custom shirt last night uh, that was just something, you know, obscene and out of the blue. And Trista told her she had it. Yeah, so, it um, made that. So uh, I asked you to deal with steel. 
Oh, Rick Diesel found another video, I guess, but uh, teascreations22.com. You can reach out and see some of their pre-made stuff, but you can also reach out to them. They have a contact us icon there and you can send them a note and they can pretty much, if you can think it up, they can put it on a t-shirt. So that's teascreations22.com. No um, punctuation there. Teascreations22.com. And you can also see what they got available on facebook.com. Just search Tees Creations. All I ask Facebook. is just don't come at them with, with any copyrighted material. <laughs> yeah, please don't. Yeah, no yeah. trademark. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's try to stay away from. Hey man, can you make me that Cincinnati Bengals T-shirt? I can. No, 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 no. That, that no, can cause big no. big problems. Well, that, <laughs> and, and you can already get that. You don't. Yeah, need you can get that off their website. You a Cincinnati Bengals shirt when you those those are readily available. Uh, yeah, and not not that this is a free plug, but NFL.com if you're not sure where you need to go for that. Uh, but All right, and, and it's 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 actually cheaper to buy a plane ticket, go to the game, buy a ticket, go in, get a hot dog and a beer and a t-shirt than it is to pay the fine for getting copyright infringement or trademark infringement. Yeah, well, no doubt about it. <clears throat> uh, man, okay, let's see here. I'm trying to find the uh video i was looking for just bear with me here boy you could tell this one's live to tape tonight daddy oh uh, there we go here was another interesting match we had uh that night and it certainly it, it, from what i hear though unless it's the dallas cowboys and i think they're trying to sell that stuff on the street corner here lately. i don't know well the, the just 40, to get rid of it the 49 is if you're watching us live the 49ers are playing the cowboys right now to determine who goes to the nfc championship so the cowboys are no slouches this year here's a match that was really interesting for a lot of people we had con o'kelly on the outside with him um is is uh let me see what her name was um should have had this ready yeah, I've been I've been doing this for 25 years and learned nothing. The stunner Emily Shade came with Con O'Kelly to the ring, and Con O'Kelly had been telling me he was the original. He he was the original. I never understood what he meant by that, but he this kept is saying Diva Wars, buddy. This is Diva Wars right here. Yeah, he was saying that uh, Caden Pierre had been copying him, and uh, and I don't recollect that's the way that happened. But uh, thoughts, gentlemen, lady. Uh, well, I mean, the, to for anybody in wrestling to like you, you can't whatever you're trying to do in wrestling, somebody has already done it before. Mm -hmm. So you can't really say that if somebody's doing something similar to you that they are copying you. They may be doing the same thing, but it's, uh, even if you were doing it before them, they're not copying you. Now, if he were wearing the same type of outfit get out of the, the way Tim. type of haircut that kind of thing then yes then you can accuse them of copying but if they just have a you know flamboyant gender bending you know effeminate uh you know type persona that's not you know that's not copying quote unquote copying you mm-hmm yeah, uh, technically. Uh, I just see two people that have bodies that I wish I had. So they both have great, great butts. So. <laughs> and they're great wrestlers. Like they, they put on one, uh, put on a great technical match. They were well suited for one another. You know, in I mean, what is it in? Even imitation, even if they one copied the other, imitation is sincerest form of sin, flattery. Yeah, I mean they, mm. I mean they were well matched. Um, but I mean, I mean, and I you think it's the first time they ever been in a ring together, right? Yes, it is. Yes. And, oh, and it I is. Would, wow. I will tell you this: since the last time I saw Con O'Kelly, that match he had with Caden Pierre last night, he has improved a lot. Yes, I mean he has come yes. a long way in a short yeah. period of time. And um, mm -hmm. the lady, and it was funny. I, I, I and I appreciate Mr. O'Kelly watching the show. I know he did because when I walked up to him to talk to him before the show, uh, he said, "I have a manager with me tonight, and she's no valet. She's actually been trained and can take care of herself." And I was just like, 
Okay. Uh, didn't mean to go that hard on it, but yeah, that's the stunner, Emily, Emily Jade. And as you can see, she's wearing wrestling gear. She came prepared. Mm, yeah. I have yeah, actually I, I, been to a show she was on that she wrestled on uh, back in December. Yeah, and yeah. I could tell not not only by the by the gear she was wearing, but also just you know the way she was um, um, handling herself uh, outside of the ring. Uh, I could tell that that she was uh, a, a, a trained professional wrestler. So, um, so and, yeah, but it, it was good that he you know uh, made that a point to let you know. But like I said, I, I could tell you know, without being told. Well, you know, I guess he, he, he understood that my concern is, is for somebody's safety. I mean, you know, I, right. I don't want yeah. to be able to be out there to be and not be able to defend himself. And I'll tell you mm -hmm. something, ladies, don't jump up on the apron during Caden Pierre's matches. Cause he has no problem punching you in the face. No problem whatsoever. And does not hesitate. And you might see some of that as we continue to watch this footage, but, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Emily Jade is just swooning over Con O'Kelly this entire match. It was certainly interesting to watch. And, you know, he had Caden Pierre in a lot of trouble several times in this match. Look at Matt Carter getting that lady sports shot there. <laughs> I know what the people want, no, I man. Didn't. <laughs> uh, sometimes that's intentional, sometimes not. <laughs> uh, but if you, yeah, but anyway, yeah, lady sports. <laughs> I, was, I had to set with you for a minute or two. Yeah, um, but anyway, so that's Caden Pierre and, and uh, Kano Kelly, and I'm not going to give away too much more of that right now because all this footage is going to be available coming up to you on YouTube and whatnot in the next week or so. Is that correct, Rick Diesel? Yes, it's going to be released. Uh, matches will be released uh, consistently, you know, pretty much every few days between that from now till uh, – Capital punishment. <laughs> yeah, and so and uh, I've already um, because of a technical glitch, have already set one up. So um, if you're um, if you don't have a significant other, don't worry, I got you covered on Valentine's Day because the eight man elimination tag team match will go up on the YouTube channel AIWF Ringside Wrestling at six p.m. on uh, on Valentine's Day. So um, we can we can keep your mind occupied of how terrible your life is. Keep to keep your mind off of that for about 30 minutes uh but then you're on your own again so but uh yeah so that's a box of chocolates and a you know and a milkshake yeah, yeah this show's kind of dark <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah it's kind of dark tonight but that's i, I don't know what what has possessed that but... hindsight's 2020 <laughs> hindsight uh let's see <laughs> um what was i gonna cover next I, my mind's slipping i'm way <laughs> this thing this is another one of those shows that's gone off the rail folks so uh and we're so far off uh, now yeah I, but i think it makes the show entertaining i i i, I strive for it yeah it, it, it is pretty funny. Like, like this awesome. last saturday night show fantastic from bell to bell i mean it was a great show that was another you know, big show, mm -hmm. quote unquote, with fantastic matches with professionals. Like, it was a great show from because I I sit in the crowd and watch, and uh, you know from Bell, you know, and so it's another, um, you know, come out, make sure you come out to watch. Yes, um, you know so. Yeah, it's it's so much better in person. I mean, in, entertainment in general is so much better in person. I was going to see if I could pull up some of the highlights of this. I cannot. So you're going to have to wait. I was going to try to pull up some highlights of what happened at the end of the show last night uh, when the cream pies actually did come into the ring. But we're going to have to wait on that a few days uh, because this thing's locked where I can't get it to play anymore right now. So, um, but... You didn't use cream pie as a keyword, did you? Uh, <laughs> I can still check that. It might be a parental uh, block on it. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Mm, break. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Didn't use cream pie. Okay. <laughs> don't don't think I didn't think about it though. <laughs> I really did. I thought, man, this will get some attention on YouTube. And then I thought, no, nah, it'll probably get Google's attention, and I don't want that. <laughs> you know, man, like say to- hello to the guy from. Uh, look at your screen. Is somebody saying hello from somewhere? Madison, North Carolina. Oh, hey, whoever I, you are, Josh Madison. Bowman. Hello from Madison, North Carolina. Hey, Josh Bowman, how are you? Um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, how to tactfully put this? Uh, Kevin Phoenix and TWO Rose ended up in somewhat of a compromising position. Compromised position. They got a double cream pie last night. Yes, they did. They did. And lay at real close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're sure they're close friends now. Uh, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. If there was any doubt, let me see if I can. Uh, we we do have post match comments from uh, from uh, Kevin Phoenix. I'm going to see if I can pull those up and share them with you. They're also available on Instagram and um. <coughs> Facebook, uh, Facebook, everywhere else. There was some interesting stuff happened backstage last night too. That's coming up on uh, with the matches that's coming out in a few, you know, over the next few weeks. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I'm de- definitely having technical difficulties here. So talk amongst yourselves. All Does that mean I'm next. Uh, maybe. I'm just... This seems that the bug seems to be going through everybody this week. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, I, now I found it. I found it. Okay, here it is. So let me get it queued up here because it's not very long, but it is hilarious. Uh, so this posted to Instagram and Facebook and everywhere else earlier today. And it got a lot. You, with backstage? Yeah. With it the, got what, a lot of views quick. You'll uh <laughs> You're going to take a look at it. Like I said, it's available on Facebook right here, but we're going to take a look at it and I'm going to get the sound and everything on it. And we'll take a look and have a listen together. Check this out from Kevin Phoenix. John Tyson, I deserve respect, this son of a bitch. I got it in my mouth. What kind of person are you? You didn't even give me a heads up. John Tyson, capital punishment. I will be there and you will live. I got my mouth. I mean, I'm not an animal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I did so. I, I mean, I mean, really, I mean, as speaking as a female, Kevin probably deserves that. <laughs> yeah, he has, he's got he's shaving the, cream he's all one, over his head. He's the one that brought out the. Uh, and the uh, and the shaving cream in the first place. Mm-hmm. So if he had to part it out, it, it would have been there to. And, yeah. and when you see yeah. like it's all about yeah, it's all fun and games. Let's make this joke. Let's do cream pie ha, 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 <laughs> like that. But it, it had terrible consequences, you yes. know, uh, for him in the match. And mm-hmm. so I, I would think that if he had to do it all over again, he being Kevin Phoenix Cochran the third would be like, eh, maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> do that. No. Yeah, because I saw T.W. Rose come out with a bag, and I was like, what's in that bag? I kind of don't want to know what's in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw him bring it out. I was like, well, whether I want to or not, I'm getting ready to find out. So, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Bad guy wrestler with grocery bag usually ends in uh, you know ends in something tar- terrible happening. Uh, either the either the bad guy wrestler or their opponent. But poor Kevin uh, Phoenix Cochran, uh, he had a, he had a very bad night last night, and you're going to get to see all of it absolutely free of charge coming up on YouTube in the next several weeks. And according to what we've been told, seasons beatings is going up on the Roku channel this weekend. Rick Diesel is taking bets on whether that'll actually happen. If you want in on the action, hit us up on the uh, comment section in Facebook. If you're looking at this sometime after the show, uh, the betting window is closed. It's only open while we're on live. So I'm sorry to disappoint you folks that are listening on Tuesday or Wednesday, but uh, so, but it's going up seasons beatings. 
And the best thing about the AIWF network on the Roku, on Roku, it's available on every Roku device at absolutely no charge. Oh, that's just, it's unheard of in indie wrestling. Uh, it, you know, everybody thinks like, you know, got the formula to sell pay-per-views anymore and no offense to anybody that does it. I'm just saying, you know, Folks, if you get that indie itch, we can scratch it, help you scratch it, and it won't set you back not one dime. And that's any Roku device, even like the sound bar. Um, what they've got, they got these real small ones now. They've got one that actually is just in the remote control itself, I believe. Um, that, yeah, uh, Roku's been kind of like cell phone. They started out like this big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love mine. I scream everything on it. not only aiwf network but just about everything else on it peacock you know there's they make it so easy so all you got to do on your roku device folks is just type in a i w f network and it'll bring it right up you'll see the blue letters of the logo and you'll know you're there yeah i had somebody from tennessee the other day was asking me you know and i told them and, and, and i'm sure so i'm sure they're watching now <laughs> Rick just believe sitting. it or not it's growing you yeah. know it, it, even with the uh slow to debut content there's still a lot of content on there mm -hmm. i mean you know and and oh there's so much i'm sure there's more stuff coming too yeah uh, older stuff. there's a lot there's a lot so much on there even even i as much of a wrestling junkies i i have still not watched it all i mean there's a lot on there it really is and we're just Hoping to get some more of the new stuff on there. Rick Diesel, I got that picture. <laughs> I, just, I didn't know if you wanted to put that up. I will. Um, let me just, I got to, let me post it to, uh, to my uh, Facebook. Let me post it on Instagram. Tell us your moment said, what did I, what, what did I stumble into? it <laughs> has been a very odd conversation this week. Yes, it has. Yeah, and it, I just hope it doesn't set anything off with the the algorithms. That's all I can say. Cream pie, cream yeah, pie. I don't see how it could. I mean, my God, Jim Cornette is like the most foul mouthed human being on the planet. They don't bother him. <laughs> no, he's been kicked off YouTube a couple of times. Though. Oh, has he? Yeah, for like threatening politicians and stuff. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's see. And oh, it didn't let me do it to Facebook. I know this is real compelling radio, guys. I am. I, I apologize. I apologize. And I, and I was just in in all seriousness. I was telling uh, uh, Rick Diesel earlier that I was like, I just can't figure out why um, why we didn't uh, why we don't get more more downloads on the audio side. And I think I figured it out tonight. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, everything has has dead spots. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, but uh, anyway, I got the got the picture up for everybody. Hang on just a second. We'll we'll put it up on the screen so everybody can see it. That's what I was working on. Well, and yes, I do have trouble. Your co-host can't keep the conversation going very well while you're doing those things. That's kind of on us. Ah! <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Don't, oh, don't eat it, Timmy. Mm. <laughs> uh, so yeah, know without that. Uh, wow, it's a good thing. Yeah, we... I know it's called a pie, but it's shaving cream pie. It's not. <laughs> yeah, you're not really supposed to eat that. Uh, but, <sighs> uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, so uh, sometimes I think I'm getting old. <laughs> that's because you are we all are uh, don't say that <laughs> hey yeah, i'm not sorry hey, i shouldn't say that to ladies uh, but my, i hear my wife say it all the time she's like I'm don't tell me a lady <laughs> oh, like, yeah be careful She'll this, rela this relationship between tw evan phoenix is i'm just i'm I'm worried <laughs> i am very worried yeah, yeah. It's it, the whole thing is weird all the way around the relationship with Kevin Phoenix and TW Rose. The fact that TW Rose was having a conversation with me about <laughs> how, um, 
his ankles have gotten so much stronger since he's been wearing heels every day for the last several months. And he can actually w- walk around longer in heels than his mother, which he was incredibly proud of and hey more power to him man you know that's how you get your exercise you know go for it uh but uh yeah (laughs) and uh, they better be concerned about this uh blowing up in their faces yeah (laughs) and i'm gonna tell you what i don't know if you guys noticed when the videos come out on on youtube and everything you guys are gonna notice that mickey fulp when he sees T.W. Rose, it's like a bull seeing red. And, I mean, he goes after him. Like, he, like he is really trying to wring this kid's neck. And uh, and that is a sight to behold. Because Mickey Fulp is fast. And T.W. Rose found that out last <laughs> night more than once. Uh, and so, uh, I don't know why Mickey Fulp hates him so bad. But he does. And, uh I tell you what, T.W. Rose, you better. You might want to drop those heels for some freaking zips or some Reeboks or something, so you can run faster. Because uh, Mickey Fulp is coming after you, my friend. Yeah, there were some times that I felt like Mickey may have been ignoring what was happening to his partner in the ring, um, focusing on T.W. Rose while. Um, Joe Harrison was was having some trouble, you know, side, you know. But we'll see that, you know, when the when the tapes are released. But I I noticed that myself. It it it, it was it was wild. You know that match. Um, I I am probably one of the only people in the country that likes a gauntlet match because it's one match and it can go an hour, hour and a half easy because you have so many participants. Well, that elimination tag last night, I filmed it. I had a timer run it. Went well over 30 minutes, close to 40 minutes. And those guys were exhausted at the end of that thing. And um, mm-hmm. I just, I have to give Kevin Kevin Phoenix and Ty Tyson were the last ones in there, but everybody in that match credit. The eliminations did not happen quickly. It no. started off as a pier six brawl, like most eight mans do. Um, but they broke, you know, from a from a bar fight, it, a wrestling match broke out, and the incredible condition of all eight participants in that match. Uh, just Brian, you can speak to it more than I can. I've never been in the ring, Rick Diesel, you, uh, Reagan. You guys know that those matches when they hit like what is it like a 15, 20 minute mark, you know, for some people, I'm sure it's 10, but you know, it, something changes when you get into a long match like that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It certainly does. And then even, even in a, in a tag situation, even an eight man situation where your apron, you, you may not be exerting, um, uh, a lot of physical energy, but it's a lot of mental energy. You know, it's just you still have pumping through your body, your heart's still racing. Um, so it's it's still exhausting being out there for that amount of time, even if your ring time uh, is about the same as singles match. Mm-hmm. Just the fact that you're out there for that amount of time uh, is uh, yeah, is is very exhausting. And and the fact the just the they were all going through, but especially Ty Tyson and Kevin. Uh, you know, I'd say you know, you you got to whether you like Kevin Phoenix or not, you have to give it up to him. And, and was was kicking out, and you know the same for Ty Tyson, of course. But uh, uh, you know, you know, regardless of what your feelings are for either man, you you have to them. Uh, for for going the distance and taking the amount of punishment that they did and were repeatedly kicking out this really devastating moves that that would have put most people out mm-hmm. early on. We well, also got to remember too, uh, Kevin Phoenix in the third. <laughs> I'm gonna be- yeah. uh, he was a world champion in ad that day. Right. I mean, you know, he's he has. He has been all over the world, England, Austria, you know, defending that belt. So, got 
whether you like him or not, you have to give him credit for being a athlete. Mm -hmm. I mean, if nothing else. I mean, he's, right. he, he can be he can be conniving and a little sneaky, but but he's been there and and he's seen it all all around the world. So you know, he's no he's no slouch in there. No, no. Sometimes his shenanigans will distract you from what a, a great wrestler he is. Uh, yes. and I, I think that's part of his modus operandi, honestly. You know, exactly distract you with all that other stuff. So he's good at the mental games. Um, so I let me pay a couple more bills and uh and we'll move on. Let's see. Hey AC AC's here. All right, yeah. all right. What's up, AC? Uh so let me do this real quick. Uh branch management, our first sponsor. Our oldest child, God bless you, Branch Management. Uh, they've been with us for several months now. They are a tree service that operates in the Mount Airy, Surrey County area of North Carolina. They can help you with branches that are maybe too close to structures, normal pruning, or complete tree removal. They offer very competitive rates of free estimates and are here to serve you. They can do all kinds of stuff, you know, basic trimming you know you gotta keep trees from getting wild they'll just grow everywhere you know but give that tree that you love a haircut so it doesn't get knocked down in the storm the next time or if you need one that's you know you gotta get it taken down for liability issues there's you know several reasons you want to do that nobody likes to go willy-nilly cutting down trees but sometimes you don't have a choice um but they offer all these services uh, they can help you figure out do, what to do if you got one that's getting a little wild and is trying to grow into grandma's attic or something like that. Uh, they can come out and give you a free estimate. If you refer a friend, you'll be eligible for a $100 referral bonus. Uh, and that's on the tree service only because they do other stuff too. But let me tell you about the numbers for the tree service. If you would like branch management to come assist you with a, a tree trimming or pruning or complete removal, all you got to do is pick up the phone, call 336-648-9282 or 336-320-8994. Let me give you those numbers one more time. 336-648-9282 or 336-320-8994 and tell them AIWF Ringside Wrestling sent you. They also do landscaping, gutter cleaning, pressure washing, kind of general contracting services. That's a different telephone number. That's a different branch of branch management that you need to call for their landscaping general contracting type work. That's 336-648-2487. One more time for that number, 336-648-2487 for a landscaping, pressure washing, and general contracting services. Now, the main event of the evening, the best concessions in wrestling, and I... Dare you to prove me wrong, and unless you're that barbecue place in the Greensboro Coliseum. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's a joke. The, these are the best concessions in wrestling. Tease Treats is a food truck that operates out of the Mount Airy, Surrey County area. And uh, it's available in most parts of the state, and they can be at multiple locations at the same time. They have delicious hot dogs, the best hot dog chili I've ever had in my life. And look at me. Can't you tell I like to eat? I mean, what's that middle thing? That's a corn. Rick. That's a corn dog. Rick, what's that middle thing? That's a corn dog with chili and cheese. Oh mm. my god, I'm gonna have to get that next time. <laughs> I didn't. I've never seen that. Oh, that yeah. looks delicious. Sorry. Yeah. Everything at Tea's Treats is delicious. Uh, great milkshakes. The decadent dessert. You get a funnel cake with a piece of cheesecake on top of it and fresh straw. Oh lord, I mean, it's too much to go into right here. But when I and I. Do not kid when I say they are the best concessions in wrestling. If you would like more information, you can see them on Facebook.com. Just search Tease Treats. Again, on Facebook, just search Tease Treats. Or you can pick up the phone and ask them, hey, will you come do my event? that would be glad to. 336-755-8204. 336-755-8204. For Tease Treats. Food truck service, yum e. It's fantastic. All right, <clears throat> here we come back. What did AC have to say? He said that if there's a if something that looks like a tree growing in your grandma's attic, but you don't think it's a tree, call it. Call it, man. 
Yeah, he'll <laughs> solve that mystery. He'll smoke it right out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, buddy. Yeah, so. He will make that thing disappear. Yes, he will. <laughs> All right. So um, again, we're waiting on the tapes to be released. They'll be coming this week. We had a fantastic night. Congratulations to Buddy Flowers, who recently returned to the AIWF Mid Atlantic area, got back on his winning ways. Um, I hope that uh, his drug test administered by T.W. Rose went well last night. <laughs> if it happened before the eight man, uh, I'm sure everything was a. Uh, uh, well, uh, went sm smooth, yeah, oh, mighty. smoothly. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it was hand fail. Yeah, if, if it was after the match, <laughs> might have been a little more angry and a lot of yelling. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're oh, way where are we going? Hell, that's <laughs> where we're going. <laughs> Oh, but I never thought I'd see the day this, this show descended in dick jokes, but it just happened. <laughs> it's not even our fault. I know. I know. It's, it's not just... our fault. We're just, we're using the terminology that was, and it's all. That, that's right. This is a news not our program. Fault. We're reporting on what happened at the sporting event. And it's not our fault that this no. is, this has happened. Cody <laughs> Rose was the most excited I had seen him all night long when he was told that he that drug that drug test. <laughs> yeah, let me um. As a matter of fact, just to prove your point, Reagan, let me uh, get the video of that, and I'm gonna try to let me time it, and I'm gonna freeze it uh, at the exact moment of of Kevin Phoenix making that announcement. We'll take a look at it together because it, it was quite hilarious uh here we go Please. <laughs> that's where you should have froze it right there yeah Let me see if it look at his look look at <laughs> that that is one happy young man right there <laughs> yeah he's got personally administered that drug test you know yeah uh... <laughs> look at that <laughs> The look on Buddy Flowers' face is priceless, too. Once Wait. again, where are we going? <laughs> <sighs> uh, maybe we, maybe it's time we got out of here. Uh, <laughs> because, uh, God bless him. Well, it, and we can and hopefully we'll, you know, we'll find, start finding out match announcements soon. We still got, I mean, that's almost a month away from capital punishment. So a lot can happen between then and now but we're going to have all kinds of great content and footage for you coming for the youtube page again thank you for the support on the youtube page it means a lot it it's i never imagined it would grow to the heights that it has and uh and, and i just appreciate all the support and you might look at our youtube numbers compared to somebody like conrad thompson or jim Cornette and be like what is he talking about heights dude or uh any promotion our size uh, yeah I, I think we're doing we damn good mm -hmm. i yeah. think it's doing damn good so i'm uh, very 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 we're pleased just getting started buddy yeah you know um but you know we got one, good things coming down the pipe i told uh i told see one of my, see hell pipe. that's where we're going <laughs> what uh, she said pipe <laughs> you know i blame kevin at sex for what T.W. Rose has, has become. He was the one that put him in that tutu. Back That's in the right. And That's been right. Crazy ever since. Sexy Kavina. Uh, this is all your fault, Sexy Kavina. So, uh, but yeah. young people from Tennessee. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, uh, he, that, Brian, he's, you remember we we're just talking about uh, something breaking out at the uh, wrestling show. Me and Brian used to remember we used to go to Tennessee back in the 90s for shows and we'd go to a would break out <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i remember that yeah exactly, i remember my my match was after the auction and i'm like this is enough of all this excitement let's get back to some wrestling <laughs> to hear about this once we get off the camera because i don't have any idea what i had forgotten about it until you mentioned it oh my god i heard of that happening in mid-south 
Yeah, we, I remember us talking about last night or that night. was like, we can't, I can't believe we come to a show and a freaking auction broke out. Like an honest to God I, I, have, like, I heard of that in, in Mid South. Cornette said when they would go down to Homa, Louisiana, the guy that ran the building, I think it was Homa, one of those places south of New Orleans, the guy that ran the building would do an auction at intermission. And be like, all right, folks, we got more great wrestling action coming up. But all right, now I want to show you this Remington 12 gauge we got up for auction tonight. And he said, Dennis Condry would look at him and be like, he's really going to auction off a gun before we go out. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that used to be a thing in Tennessee, evidently. Uh, man. Uh, mm. uh, wrestling in an auction. I, I bet you also, the, do you remember uh, when uh, Jimmy was? Jimmy versus Jimmy at a at the uh, gimmick table. Jumping Jimmy was out there. I can't remember his dinner mission or something. He walked up. Jimmy Vay was sitting at his table, and Boogie looked at him and said, "Hey, you need to come up to my school sometime." Jimmy looked at him and said, "I don't need your damn school. <laughs> I'm already trained." <laughs> oh, twenty dollars <laughs> with twenty dollar picture. Twenty dollars with the belt. Ten dollars yeah. without. Yeah. Wow, the fact that you can rattle that list off that quick is just amazing to me. I remember how much his wife charged me for a, hot, a cup of hot chocolate when I went up there. Holy hell. God bless you. <laughs> yeah. The night we bring up the auction, bring it out. Stephen Hayes is in the chat room. <laughs> he said, I bet I know which show you <laughs> <laughs> You talk about a guy who like, has seen about everything weird happening in wrestling, too, not just you two. Stephen Hayes has seen some uh -huh. weird, weird yeah. shit over the years, too. And I and, think it's oh, so yeah. Talking about, about a heavy I hitter, too. Stephen Hayes. Up in the chat room. God bless him. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah. So, yeah, we do this fiasco every Sunday night live on Facebook. It, it, the time varies depending on my work schedule and our work schedules. And, and so... We're going to get it lately. out better to people when we're going to do it, though. Yeah. We played around with that today. I think it worked okay. I think so. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, so wherever you're listening, whether it's on podcast or YouTube or are here live with us on Facebook on Sunday night, thank you so much for supporting this program. It means a lot. And we certainly hope you enjoyed it. Things got a little weird tonight. But, folks, that's the material we've got to work with for the next month. So, you know what? Yep. You're going to be hearing more about the cream pies and when the videos come out. Uh, woo! Well, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to have some more, uh, uh, yeah, interesting content. So, if you've got a dick joke you'd like us to share with the general public, just send it to us at AIWF20 at Hotmail.com, and we'll do our best to get it on the air. Yeah. <laughs> We don't know how the delivery will be, but we'll shoot it to you straight. <laughs> that's right. And I, that's <laughs> that's the strangest pitch I've ever done on TV. Uh, <laughs> Hell, <laughs> that's where we're going. <laughs> oh, Lord, forgive me. I think, I think uh, uh, out of all the great action uh, last night, my favorite part of the night was uh, – Crowd starts chanting cream pie, cream pie, cream pie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. like, okay, yeah. this is gonna stick around for a while. And the fact that, that come a group of, of stay tuned. Yeah. A group of children also chanting it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing about that, they have no idea nah. what nah. no, but after they see this, they're gonna put it in Google and terrible things are gonna happen. <laughs> May hopefully their family has safe search on. I hope it's so. getting ass whipping. <laughs> Mama walk in, go, What are you looking at? Mommy, why is everybody naked on this website? <laughs> Mommy, what's a paywall? <laughs> I thought it was a little. <laughs> Oh, we gotta we gotta get out of here, man. This is this is just we're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining us for Ringside Wrestling this week. We hope we didn't run you off. We promise it won't be this bad every week, but we sure had fun. It's Kevin, it's Kevin Phoenix Conkron the third fault, not ours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he Send said, it to yeah. him. Now, whose name now is Yeah, kind of. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yeah, this will be the one that gets to YouTube demonetized. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us this week. It's it, we entertained ourselves. We didn't entertain y'all. Hell, I thought it was a lot of fun. So, yeah. anyway, uh, join us next week. Uh, we will be back here uh, relatively the same time on Sunday evening here live on Facebook. And of course, you can always catch the archive of the show on YouTube, all your favorite podcasting platforms. So for Brian Reagan, Rick Diesel, I am Mad Matt Carter. We'll see you next week, fans. And until then, so long for now.